In today's video, we're doing all new home hacks. You're definitely gonna wanna stick around. If you're like me, you buy fresh herbs for one recipe and then you end up not using them and they go bad. So I have a hack for you to make sure that you use all of your fresh herbs because these are expensive. We're gonna make herb flavor bombs that you can add to your freezer and pull out anytime you need a little bit of extra seasoning. So you're going to need an ice cube tray. I find that these little silicone ones work best, but honestly, you could use any type of ice cube tray. You can put any herbs you want in here. I'm gonna put a little bit of minced garlic. I'm also going to add some minced rosemary in there. Next, you can add in your favorite oil, place it in the freezer. Once they're completely frozen, you can add them to a Ziploc baggie. Then anytime you need to add them to a recipe, you can just add them to your skillet. Have you ever had a Sharpie that just stopped working? That's super annoying because these are really expensive. I have a hack for you to help bring these back to life. I'm gonna add three drops of 70% isopropyl alcohol on the end of my Sharpie. Really, it was like 20 drops, oops. Okay, next I'm going to take the lid, put it back on, and then you're going to shake it up, and hopefully this brings my Sharpie back to life. All right, moment of truth, let's see if it works. Oh, wow. Okay, that brought this back to life. I wouldn't say it's as good as a new Sharpie, but if you're in a pinch, it works pretty good. Looking for a way to keep your kids entertained this summer? I got a great hack for you. We're gonna be making reusable water balloons that are gonna keep them entertained for hours. So what you need is a bunch of sponges. These are all from Dollar Tree and a pack of zip ties. So take two of the sponges and you're going to cut them into three strips so you have six sponges. Get a zip tie, you can get these at Dollar Tree as well. Then alternate the colors. You're gonna put a zip tie through the middle, make it as tight as possible. Then you're just going to fluff out your sponges on either side, cut the excess off of your zip tie and add them to your bucket. Now that I have all the sponges made, I'm gonna fill my bucket up about halfway with water. Then you can send your kids outside with these water balloons. And the best part is they're reusable. I go shopping quite a bit for DIY supplies for my YouTube channel, and I've been using a new app called Fetch that I wanna tell you about. Fetch is an app that you can download, and whenever you go shopping, you lay out your receipt and you're gonna scan it with your phone. Fetch works with literally any retail receipt. The receipt I'm scanning is for DIY supplies that I picked up at Lowe's. You're simply going to snap and submit. Once you hit submit, you'll receive points, and then you can use those reward points on practically hundreds of items. You can browse the reward section to see what's available. If you tap on the rewards section in the app, there's a ton of different gift cards you can choose from. Of course, my favorite is definitely the Amazon gift cards. I also love the Ulta Beauty gift cards and my kids love the Roblox ones. If you do a lot of your shopping online, it's even easier to scan by clicking the e-receipt button and it's going to scan your email, your Walmart account, your Amazon account. It'll look for eligible e-receipts and you can get points back. I was able to connect Fetch to my Walmart account and it pulled up all the receipts from my past grocery purchases. The e-receipts is by far my favorite way to use the app. You can get started with Fetch and earn an extra 100 points when you check out my link in the description box. When you download the app, make sure you use my code Liz Fenwick so you can get an extra 100 points when you snap your first receipt. I wanna thank Fetch for sponsoring today's video and the link to the app will be in the description box. So if you happen to have a recipe where you need to remove egg yolks, here's a hack you can try. So crack your egg, put it in your bowl, then you're gonna use an empty water bottle to remove the yolk. So what you wanna do is squeeze your water bottle, place it on top of the yolk, and then release the area you were squeezing, and it should go into your water bottle. And you can immediately pull your water bottle up, and hopefully you're left with just egg whites in your bowl. I can't believe how easy that was. I find that hanging up pictures with two hanger hooks on the back is really difficult. This is a hack to make it a little bit easier. So what you're gonna need is some painter's tape and you want to extend your painter's tape across both of the hooks on the back of your picture frame. Take a Sharpie and you're gonna mark your holes right where you'd want your screws to go into the wall. Pull off your tape and hang it up where you wanna hang your picture. Now you have an exact guide of where to put your screws into the wall.
Now remove your painter's tape. And hang up your picture. Make sure you paint that subscribe button. If you're watching me on your phone, the subscribe button is right next to my channel name. Click the red subscribe button so it goes from red to gray. You can also click the notification bell so you can see more videos like my Dollar Tree DIYs, home packs, and room makeovers. I hate any time I'm getting ready to bake how cold the butter is and it's just not ready to use in my recipe. Here's a hack to soften your butter in minutes. Fill a cup up with water, place it in the microwave for a minute. I'm gonna take the cup out and then I'm gonna dump the water in the sink. I'm gonna set my cup on my cold butter for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, your butter should be softened and ready to go. I've tried out many hacks to shine up my sink from using lemons to baby oil. I heard the best hack is actually using limes and baking soda, so let's try it out and see if it works. I think this hack worked great. It's a natural alternative you can do to clean out your sink so you don't have to use chemicals. And if you have any limes that are getting ready to go bad, it may be one you wanna try out. So if you're wearing a swimsuit this summer that has a tie around the neck, you may be worried about it coming untied or maybe it's a little bit loose. Here is a way to keep it tight as well as being able to adjust it as you're wearing it. So what you wanna do is you want to lay out your top straps. You're going to make a loose knot in each side of your strings. Then you're gonna take one of the strings and put it in the opposite side's knot. Take your other string and put it in the other side's knot. From there, you can tighten your knots and then by pulling on your strings, you're able to adjust it and make it tight and it's not coming undone till you're ready. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Comment the word of the day, which is hacks. If you're trying to cut on your cutting board and it's sliding around all over the place, here's a hack you can try. Get a damp paper towel and just set it underneath your cutting board. It's gonna help hold everything in place while you're cutting. There's so many cool hacks you can do with cupcake liners. One, for example, let's say it's a hot summer day and you don't want anything going into your drink. Take a cupcake liner, fold it in half, Put a little slit at the top and then place it over your drinking straw. This will protect your drink while you're outside. Now, if you have kiddos that take a while to eat their popsicles and the popsicle runs all down their hands, take a cupcake liner, put a little slit at the bottom, open up your popsicle, and then you'll place the stick in the cupcake liner. When the popsicle starts to melt, it'll fall into the cupcake liner. On one of my Amazon live streams, Victoria told us that she actually puts her plastic wrap in the freezer and keeps it in there all the time. And then when she needs it, she pulls it out and it's so much easier to cut being in the freezer. So we're gonna try that out. So I'm gonna put this plastic wrap in the freezer and see if it works. I've had it in the freezer now for a few hours. Let's see if this actually works. I'm kind of skeptical. All right, let's see. If I'm able to pull it out. Well, that pulled out pretty easily. Let's see, and I'll cut it. All right, that was too easy. Let's see, let's try another piece. Honestly, I don't know. I do feel like it helps it to cut a little bit better. It's not clinging up as much as it normally would. So that's not a bad hack. Have you ever tried cleaning your baseboards with dryer sheets? It's a great hack. It picks up a lot of dirt and dust and it smells really nice. I love giving this job to my kids. I think the best way to clean your ceiling fans is with an old pillowcase. This is an easy hack. All you have to do is find an old pillowcase. You're gonna put it over your fan blades and as you're pulling it off, it's gonna remove any dust that are on your fan blades. Have you guys ever heard of the hack that if you add ice cubes with your wrinkly clothes to the dryer, it's actually going to get the wrinkles out? Let's see if it works. <laughs> it's 
So I don't think that worked. This dress actually looks more wrinkly now. I love knowing your guys' hacks, so leave me a comment letting me know your best home hacks and maybe you'll see them in a future video. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe because I wanna see you back here and I'll see you in our next one. Bye.